Welcome to the week three spend analysis example. If you open up the spend analysis example on week three uh, or week four in uh, the course for management 6082, um, you'll see the spend ex analysis example and it will look like what appears on the screen right now. Spend analysis are great tools um, to identify areas that you can look at for improving efficiencies and reducing costs. So what we're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to sort our data by commodity. So if you just put uh, your cursor on one of the cells in the commodity column, and then we're going to sort A to Z. And it puts it in the order of, uh, it sorts it by commodity. Um, now what we want to do is I want to um, subtotal it based on each commodity. So if you go to data, make sure you're on the data tab, and you click on the subtotal icon, and we want to subtotal at each change in commodity, and we want to add up the annual spend. So click OK. And this shows all the data, and you can see the totals for each commodity. If you click on 2 over here, it just gives you the subtotals. So we can see the um, total for all the advertising commodities is 56 million. And the thing I want to do now is I want to sort it um, by descending value. So put, click on one of the cells in the annual spend column, and then click on the sort Z to A. So we're going to sort it from largest to smallest. And as you can see, the area where we spend the most money on is the rebate fulfillment and call center total. So what I want to do is just graph or chart the top 10 uh, spend on commodities. So if we, we're going to highlight the top 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've highlighted the top commodities with the top 10 spends and I'm going to create a chart out of it. So if you go to the insert tab and I'm going to insert a column chart. So click on that and then click on this 2D column. And that gives that chart gives us a nice idea of where we're spending our money. And by looking at this, we can see um, that the rebate, rebate fulfillment is a clear area for savings opportunities. So if we want to spend any of our effort looking for where we can uh, save money, this would be a great area to start looking because this is where we spend a large chunk of our money. So that's one thing you can analyze in your data. So let's go to the tab marked 4 or 5. What I want to do now is uh, look at what we're spending um, per supplier. So again, let's do the same thing. Let's sort by commodity. So if we go to the data tab and click A to Z, so we're sorting our data uh, by commodity alphabetically. And what I want to do now is We're going to subtotal again, but this time we're going to count the number of suppliers per commodity. So if we go to the subtotal, and we're going to do it at each change in commodity again, but this time we're going to do the subtotal of the supplier, and we're going to count. So this is going to tell us how many suppliers per commodity we have. So click OK. And again, if you click on the two here, you'll see that how many uh, suppliers we have per commodity. So if you look, the paper count has the most, uh, the highest number of um, suppliers per commodity. So we can also um, chart this as well. So let's do that. What I want to do now is sort by descending. Uh, number of suppliers, so click on a cell in the supplier column and click on the Z to A and as you can see we have uh, four paper count suppliers and two service parts uh, suppliers and let's graph this as well. So let's highlight these two columns, you don't need the grand total one 
And again, let's do insert a 2D column chart. So you can see, oh, this isn't showing us much. Oops, I have to. Looks like I didn't grab all the information I want to. So again, insert column, 2D column. It's not showing us everything we want, so let's try and change the chart type. Oh, it's not working for some reason. So let's try this again. Maybe if we just grab these ones. Let's try that one. Insert chart 2D column. No, it's not letting us do it. The important part of this um, analysis is we want to see where, um, what commodities we have numerous suppliers for. Without graphing it, we can see um, the information that we are looking for, and we can see paper count has four suppliers. So paper, the paper um, commodity is certainly um, an area we can look at reducing the number of suppliers to get further cost savings. So I'm not going to chart it, but you can see that this is showing us where we can look at reducing our number of suppliers. So now what I want to do is I want to look at um, the average spend per supplier by commodity. So again, let's do the same thing. Let's um, sort. So go to the data and let's sort by commodity. Okay. And now let's subtotal again by commodity. So if we go to subtotal at each change in commodity. Let's add and see what the uh, annual spend is. So again, go to number two. And so again, we're seeing how much we're spending per commodity. Um, then I want to add a column. And we're going to call it um, number of suppliers. And we know from the previous tab that all sub all commodities had just one supplier except for paper count and for paper and service parts. So let's just put one in for all of them. Click and drag it down. Okay. But we do know paper, so we need to change paper. And we know it had four. And we know service parts had two. So now let's, um, we're going to add another column and we're going to calculate the average spend per supplier by commodity. Okay, so what we can do here is we can take the annual spend for the commodity and divide it by the number of suppliers. And we can click and drag that formula down the column. Okay. So that's showing us what we're spending uh, per supplier by commodity. Now I want to sort this in descending order. All right, let's do it in ascending order. Okay. And now let's graph it. So we can graph. So let's highlight this column and we're going to highlight so press control and let's highlight this column okay and then we're going to insert 2d column and so this is giving us some information um, this table shows that the categories that have the lowest volume of spending per supplier so the low spend per supplier is indicative that there are too many suppliers in the category or that the volume per supplier should be increased. So, um, you know, we're spending a lot of time on these low spend um, suppliers and maybe we could be lumping, um, maybe some of these suppliers um, could be lumped together so that we're having, not spending as much administration on these suppliers. So that's another type of analysis we can do. The last type of analysis is a 
um, what they call a Pareto analysis. We're looking for 20% uh, of the suppliers that uh, we spend 80% of our money with. So we're going to start off by doing the same thing and we're going to sort um, by commodity, so in ascending order. And then we're going to uh, subtotal again on the annual spend. So subtotal at each change in commodity. We're going to add and the annual spend. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a column and we're going to find out what percentage it is. So percent of total spend. Okay. So what we can do here is we take annual spend and we're going to divide it by the total spend. Okay. So that gives us, oh, before I did that I wanted to sort it um, by descending order. So let's sort it first. Well, we can do this maybe after. So let's, we want to change this column into percent. So we highlight this column and format cells and let's change this into a percentage. Okay, And let's copy and paste that formula down, but we want to put dollar signs on so that it keeps that total the same value. let us sort now. Oh, I see what we need to do. I need to, so it's only showing this, the subtotals. Okay, so now let's try sorting it in descending order. Okay, so now we have the percentage of total spend, and I want to make, again, a graph of this. So I need to highlight these two columns, so columns B and D. Okay, and I'm going to insert column chart, 2D column, and there we go. So again, this is highlighting um, the, the two areas um, by, that our percentage of our spend is being mostly spent on is the rebate and investments. So 46% of our total spend is being spent on these two areas, and these are certainly two areas that we should be looking at to see where we can um, save some money and find some more efficiencies. So that's some analysis you could do to try and find some uh, ways and strategies and tactics of uh, reducing your spend and increasing your efficiencies on sourcing some items. Hopefully this helps.